talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! October the 13th last night we had our first night that got down to about near frost about 35 36 degrees so some major changes just happened but my estimate is going to show that these white bass will be heavily feeding now that water had to have cooled off at least 10 degrees in one day we're about to find out let's see if we can get a white bass today i'm using a bandit whacker square bill that is meant for fishing heavy rocks and hopefully will keep me from getting hung because i lose a lot of crankbait here to catch these fish i'm hoping that prevents it right by the bank little baby he was right here honey he was right here all right folks I caught my first white bass I was just thinking this lure might be too big but if this little guy bit this big old square bill then I'm in luck all right first white bass of the day I think my theory's right they will be biting off and on we'll get a, we'll get the real good evening bite though little baby That's funny. Oh yeah! I did I was I was right there again. They're real shallow. Real shallow. He was in two feet of water right in front of me. Alright, I finally got my first keeper white bass. Keep it. Put it in the bucket, I guess. That's why I brought it. All right, the square bill is working here and there. I'm not getting a lot, but sporadic bites. That's a nice, respectable white bass. I'm going to clean him off for you guys. Nice. Not bad. Nice little white bass. They are very shallow today, guys. Way shallower than I expected. Both of them that I've caught so far have been in a foot of water or less actually right here in front of me when i'm casting across these rapids both bites have been right here so they're not where you'd expect all right Here, just for a second. Did you bring Not a very long. Stringer. All right, guys. First keeper white bass. That's number two. It's looking promising. And like I said earlier, we should have a good evening bite. You'll just lose all your crankbaits. It's not worth it. Oh, oh, crap. All right, that's a nice one. Oh my God. Oh, come on. Got it. It's big. Oh, man.
real big, whatever it is. And now it's got me hung up. I gotta hope he gets out of it. I'll see if I can still feel him pull. There he went, he pulled again. He's still on there, but I'm hung. Got him out. Got it. I think it's a drum. You never know. Yeah, it's acting totally like a drum. It just did a uh, circle like they do. Yeah. Hey, it's a fish. Swallowed the hook. Imagine that. It's gonna be tough to get. Oh, I do got the stringer. Oh well. fish to get out it's way in there all right let's get this nasty thing back in there little pound and a half drum all right got something on the bandit crankbait here can't tell what it is yet you got a white bass in the side it's hooked in the side. Oh, it's a spotted bass. It's big though. Real nice. You got him, somehow you hooked him in the... No. I'll get him. Oh, he's hooked in the mouth and in the side. That's a nice spotted bass. You know, yeah, that's a... She, actually, she caught him on a jointed Rapala. Shad wrap. Man, that's a big spotted bass. Here, I'll get a good view of you. Hope, keep it with the lure in its mouth, though. I'll take my camera in and zoom in on you. Good job. Nice. See, we're slowly getting them. Leave it like that and then hold it up. Yeah, hold on, let me zoom. I don't know. Get it. That's get a it. parasite of some kind. Get I don't know. It. Is it a leech? No. No, it's just moss. Hold it up for us. Good spotted bass, Wilma. Hold it, hold it down a little bit. There you go. All right, a Rapala shad wrap, jointed shad wrap. Spotted bass. About pound and three quarters. Pretty decent one. Yeah. <laughs> Doing good now, huh? I guess throw him in the bucket. Uh, the pliers are in the pocket that's open. Yeah, that's a big spotted bass. Man. See, they're up here. Folks, Wilman just caught a really nice white bass on a chrome, on a chrome crankbait of something. Chrome banded, isn't it? Bandit. Let me see the crankbait. Yeah, Bandit 200. My battery was completely dead. Somehow a dead battery ended up in my good battery bag. That's a really nice one there. He's about 15 inches, 14 at least. All right, hold him up for us on the clean side with the side without sand, like hold him sideways. Hold him like that too, yeah. So I'm finally getting on him, guys. It's a really nice white bass. Oh yeah, that's a decent one there. He's two pounds. It's a good lure. Just don't try not to reel it in so hard to where it don't go down in the rocks. Yeah. Just hold it. I can't. That sucks. My battery went dead like that. I don't know why why a dead battery was in my good bag. It's 
supposed to be the good bag. It was dull. It was dead right away. It never even filmed. That's a really nice one, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do terrible though. You got one? All right, Wilma's got one. Good job. Hopefully a white bass. No, you got a drum. Oh man. <laughs> the drum. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's just disappointing, I guess. Yeah. All right, folks, she just caught a drum on a, it's about a two pounder on a Rapala bluegill pattern shad wrap, glass wrap, Rapala glass wrap. That ain't bad at all, really, hey. Something, right? Yeah. Good job. Okay. Yeah. At least it provided some action. <laughs> well, folks, all in all, that was a bad day. Uh, the majority of the bites were in the heat of the day. It's becoming that time of the year when the best time was about noon to four during the warmest part of the day, which it got up in the Oh, upper 60s. After about 4 o'clock, it just died. I mean, nothing. I had two poles sitting out on the bottom, and I let them sit there for an hour and a half, and they were both untouched. The hooks weren't showing. There was nothing wrong with them. Nothing even touched them. And we didn't catch any more white bass. The last two hours it's now so chilly out that my hands are numb um, you know we did manage to catch four white bass a spotted bass and two drum but other than that no flatheads no catfish of any kind no buffalo uh, and the white bass were just hit and miss just wasn't up here and it could be the shatter not up here at the rapids so they're they're gonna fall wherever the shatter at so who knows? Last week it may have been real good. It may not be completely over. But I'm wanting one of those days where you catch about 20 to 30 white bass. It just ain't happened yet. It's at the perfect level. They just weren't biting that great. Now tomorrow night is a full moon. It's an orange hunter's moon or something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna actually switch it up. I'm gonna start crappie fishing again. All the rest of this week, and I'm gonna have one day where I actually fish for walleye too. Uh, but the majority of this week is gonna be, I believe I'm gonna switch to crappie now uh, until about Thanksgiving, crappie and walleye off and on until March. All right, guys, Till next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.